welcome to yet an another lecture on control system one myself professor I, assistant professor of dr sudhir chandra shu degree engineering college electrical engineering department now today our topic is transfer function so let's start so what is transfer function so transfer function is the ratio between laplace output and laplace input assume that all the initial conditions are zero so it is the ratio of output to input in laplace domain so generally transfer function is denoted by t dot f and this transfer function is nothing but the ratio of output that is given here output by input means the output in the laplace domain to the input in laplace domain which is known is given by is by r s so the criteria is, is that all the initial conditions are zero okay there is no initial conditions in order to determine the transfer function of a system so let us why this transfer function is required transfer function is required to determine the dynamic behavior of any control system in order to find the dynamic behavior of any control system the transfer function is required so now you will study the closed loop transfer function having negative feedback so how we can form the closed loop transfer function so let us take study that particular thing so let us we have a summing point the input is r is then this we did there open loop transfer function say this is gs okay then the output is cs now with the help of a feedback hs Having a negative feedback, it is feeded back to the summing point. So this is known as say B S. Okay. So let us take the. This is known as our error signal B S. so we will find that that what is the transfer function it is given here closed loop transfer function so our closed loop transfer function is the transfer function denoted by tf is 
output in the Laplace domain, that is Cs, this is our output, and by divided by the ratio between the output and the input, that is the Rs, giving all the initial conditions equal to 0. So what is the Cs from there, particular block? What is the value of Cs? Cs can be written in that way, Cs equal to Es into Gs. Yes, that is the Cs. Okay. So what is the value of? So that is written here. I have. It is a Cs equal to Es into Gs. So what is the value of Bs? This part. So what is the value of BS? BS, this one, it is given that B is equal to, what is the value of BS? It will be CS, this point is value is the CS, this point value. It is coming down from here, CS it is multiplied with the HS, same as ES is multiplied with the GS and we got this ES is multiplied with the GS and we got the CS. This one. Now this CS is this is the point value CS. So CS is coming here. Multiply it with the feedback gain called HS and we get the output called this one with BS. So BS equal to nothing but CS into HS. So, so this is our equation number one and this is our equation number two. Okay. So what is ES? So what is ES? It is nothing but to find the ES. So to find the ES is nothing but we are taking a new page. We are taking a say from each to find that what is the value of this from that particular diagram the es equal to rs minus bs so es equal to so es equal to rs minus Bs. So value of Es is known to us. So the value of Es equal to just putting those values Cs by Gs from that equation 1 and Bs equal to Cs Hs. Just putting those values. So Es equal to Cs by Gs. Is by GS value of ES and RS is given because we have to find the CS by RS. So replace all ES and BS by CS. So what is BS? It is given that CS into HS. So, Rs can be written as by taking the Cs on the right hand side of the equilibrium of, uh, equal sign, we just get Cs and taking Cs as a form, common term, it will be get 1 by Gs plus Hs. So remembering this one, from that equation we get Rs by Cs, we are taking a new sheet, Rs by 
3s. Equal to just take the summation 1 plus gs hs by gs. So, what is our transfer function? What transfer function is? What is our transfer function is the output by input given in the Laplace domain ratio between output and input that is Cs by Rs given all the initial conditions equal to zero. Okay, so it will be Gs. It will be Gs by one plus Gs Hs. Plus GSHS. This is the transfer function of a closed loop system. And this is done here. The transfer function is given as CS by RS equal to GS1 plus GSHS. So our second point is the poles and zeros of a transfer function. So, let us take a transfer function. S plus 1, take S into S plus 2. So this is our transfer function. So, The numerator part, waiting numerator part equal to zero, will give the values of zeros. So the zero equal to at minus one point, and equating the denominator part equal to zero, that is give the zeros. Either S equal to 0 or S plus 2 equal to 0. That implies S equal to minus 2. So there are two poles. One is called 0 and one is the minus 2. So this is the poles of the transfer function. So this is the basic idea how to calculate the zeros and the poles of n type transfer function. So transfer function of a system is the equivalent to the impulse response of the system. So before approaching to that, we will discuss, we will recall our memory that what we have learned now. Just think for one or two minutes that we have learned the transfer function. What is the transfer function and why the transfer function is required? So if I, if we recall our memory that we will see that transfer function is the ratio between the Laplace output to the Laplace input as in all the initial conditions are zero. So it is, it is the ratio of Laplace output and Laplace input is given by Cs by Rs. So why the transfer function is required? In order to determine the dynamic behavior of any control system, we require the transfer function. Now the closed loop transfer function having limiting feedback, the value is, the transfer function is Gs1 plus Gshs. This is the closed loop transfer function having negative feedback. So, we also know the poles and zeros of a transfer function. Poles and the zeros that we have done just now to find how we can calculate the 
force and the geos of a transfer function. So now you will come to a impulse response of a system. When the transfer function is 1 by S plus 1, impulse response is e to the power minus t. The pole locations are given here, only here, okay, this part. So the nature is converging and the system is stable. So if this type of transfer function is there and the response is e to the power minus t impulse response, so what we get? We get Part of like this one that is called converging towards the zero and this type of system is known as stable system okay and the poles locations are given in the j is sigma plus j omega plane plane locations are given here it is clearly here that this on the negative sigma axis is the poles location so it is the nature is converging towards the zero and the system is known as a stable system let us another transfer function one by s minus one and input impulse responses e to the power t. So system is the nature of the responses diverging in the nature and the poles locations are given. I have told that if the poles locations are lies on the left hand side of the S plane, the system is stable in nature and it is seen that if the poles is lying on the left hand side of the stress plane, the system is stable in nature. That I have told. Now, if the pole locations are on the right hand side of the S plane, that is the diverging in nature and the unstable system that we have obtained is clearly seen here. So it is the diverging in nature that is given and the system is an unstable one. Un Level one and the pole locations are given on the right hand side of the is plane. The pole are lies on the right hand side of the plane. The system is unstable. That we have done. Now the third one is that one by yes. In the unit step input is given. The system is the marginally stable in nature. This is the response and this is the pole location. Okay. So if the pole location is there at the origin here in the J omega plane here the pole locations is in here the system is called marginally stable and the output is seen here in this graph the response, first response given is for the UT unit step in the system is called R G stable system. So we have learned the stable, unstable, and the marginal system stable depending upon the transfer function and along with the E.
input that we have provided, the responses that we have provided to the system. So poll locations are known to us, corresponding converging, diverging nature of the system is known to us. And it is clear that if the poles are lies on the right hand side of the S-plane, the system is said to be unstable and the nature is diverging in nature. If the poles are lies on the left hand side of the S-plane, the system is a stable system and it is converging towards the nature, it is going towards the zero. So it is stable system and if it is lies on the origin, so it is called the marginally stable system and output is same here. So we have learned today about the transfer function, open loop uh, transfer function or closed loop transfer function with negative feedback, what is transfer function and then necessity of the transfer function and along with the poles and zeros of the transfer function and the transfer function of the system is the equivalent to the impulse response of the system. So for the different transfer functions, our system is stable, unstable or marginally stable. That is also known to us.